was a rousing rendition of God Save the Queen. And the traditional handshakes between the players. Well, let's have a look at the two team lineups. Here's the England side. Three changes to the team that started that extraordinary 6 3 game over Macedonia last month. The Arsenal duo of Theo Walcott and Jack Wilshire are both injured. That takes away a lot of the side's attacking flair. West Ham's James Tompkins and Everton's Jack Rodwell are also injured. Chelsea's Ryan Bertrand, who's on loan at Reading, of course, and Villa's Fabian Delph earned third caps. Chris Smalling of Fulham is second. Andy Carroll of Newcastle leads the line having scored twice against Macedonia last month. Oceano Cruz also makes three changes to the Portugal side that drew in Greece last month, but he keeps his preferred 4-3-3 formation. Freddy, Ukra and Yazalde have struggled for goals with their clubs this season. Only Ukra has netted in this qualification campaign. Ventura in goal has failed to keep a clean sheet in the three matches so far. And then we'll be hoping that continues. Michael Mancien of Chelsea, of course, on loan at Wolves. Earns a start, and Kieran Gibbs, number 10 there, playing a little bit further forward than he usually does for Arsenal. Andy Carroll just tying up his laces. Fantastic performance against Macedonia last month. That man also scored, Michael Richards, wearing the captain's armband. And in fact, he should have scored more than one goal in that game. The referee is German, 41-year-old Torsten Kinhofer is the man in charge in the centre of your picture. And we are going to have a minute's silence here in honour of the German goalkeeper Robert Enke, who sadly passed away this week. Germany postponing their international in memory of that. Well, the days of English players seeing under-21 matches as a necessary chore appear to be long gone. The likes of James Milner, Gabby Agbon Lahore, Joe Hart, they've all graduated to the senior squad. And the feel-good factor under Fabio Capello, who takes a keen interest in the under-21 side, certainly has filtered down to this level. England to kick off, Andy Carroll and Kieran Gibbs over the ball. So, crunch time at lunchtime here at a rain-soaked Wembley with Group 9 leaders Greece not in action until Tuesday. England here have a massive opportunity to close the gap to just three points with a win here. And they still have a game in hand. Portugal, though, can move level on points with England if they can earn the victory here. So there's a lot at stake. All come out on top. England coming off the back of scoring six against Macedonia in Coventry last month but they did show some defensive vulnerability in that game and hanging on to a lead did prove tricky to say the least and Portugal attacking the goal 
And away to our left-hand side, Pellerinha. Getting the ball forward, headed away by Micah Richards, picked up by Tom Cleverley. Back to Richards again. And now Mancien playing at full-back. Forward by Smalling. A man alongside me, former Chelsea defender David Lee, with a dozen under-21 caps himself. What are you expecting today, Dave? Well, I'm expecting a, a home win, but I'm um, slightly concerned at the formation with only one centre forward in the team. I thought he might have gone with two, maybe Hines or uh, Sturridge supporting with Carroll. But from the first minute, it's clear that I think they're going to look to hit Carroll at quite a, you know, a few opportunities if they can, because I think he'll cause them a few troubles in the air. Here is Andy Carroll, just trying to poke it through there towards Kieran Gibbs. He certainly is playing a lot further forward than we've seen. Here's Bertrand. Locking it inside to Mwamba. Here comes Mancien. Now Tom Cleverley, so outstanding against Macedonia last time out. And gives it a little flip, which is hacked away. That's a sort of bright, incisive move we've seen from England under Stuart Pearce. Adrian Silva caught in possession by Cleverley. Here's Mancien. Cleverley again. Mancien again. Kieran Gibbs telling Mancian where he wants the ball, and he's got it. And just a little foot in from Fabio Correa. And it goes against Gibbs on that occasion, but a lovely move there from England. All eyes on the German official. But the uh, decision went Portugal's way. Surprised to see Kieran Gibbs playing in this sort of role. I am, I mean, he's got number 10 on his back, and he seems to be playing in the number 10 role, sort of just behind the front man in a kind of a free role at the moment. 13th cap at this level for Kieran Gibbs. He does have three goals, actually, including uh, in that match last month. Also got a couple against Azerbaijan in June before the championships in Sweden. Here's Fabian Delft of Aston Villa. Just the third cap for him, 20 years of age next week. Now Bertrand. Goes over with the ball having been played forward there by Chris Smalling. He's getting an opportunity himself tonight. Cleverly. Well, England in the opening stages here. And takes on Fabio Ferreira. I think he could have a busy afternoon, the Portugal left back. This is Ukra who has got a couple of goals in qualification, scored them against Lithuania back in the summer. Rui Pedro. Now Adrian Silva scored the vital equaliser in Portugal's last game. Faria, and he uses Ventura. You can see Portugal are going to try and hit on the break here. Yeah, they're going to try and soak up a little bit of pressure early on, keep the ball, as, as most foreign sides do. They'll keep the ball very well and just look to England on the counter. But I think the way England's set up is kind of four. Uh, Delft and Moamba are going to sit, and then Cleverly and Rose either side of um, Gibbs in the middle of the park. Gibbs is kind of going to get forward as much as he can by the look of it. Well, the Portuguese may not expect that particular tactic. Here's Richards, the skipper, Smalling. There's the big long ball, looking for Rose, he can hook it in towards Andy Carroll, well away by Miguel Vitor. <laughs> he is a battering ram up there for England and for Newcastle as well. Nice ball into Gibbs, just couldn't quite get it out of his feet quickly enough. In fairness, Daniel Cariso closed him down quickly. It's a bit of an uh, adventurous role for Kieran Gibbs today.
with Daniel Cariso. And you can see Portugal in no hurry to get the ball forward. And quite happy to play it along the back four. England in no particular hurry to nick it off them. Here's Carroll, though. Out to Rose. Kieran Gibbs was uh, putting the defender under pressure. How England would love an early goal here, which they got uh, last time out. Just a little push, push on the Ukra there by Michael Mancien. see the Portuguese and David just trying to take this thing out of the game every time they get the ball aren't they they are and with one up front at the moment they, they can get it at the back you know there's not a lot of pressure from Carroll he's not going to be able to work all four at the back so you know that, that, that's their tactic for the first 10-15 minutes I think quiet down the crowd and uh, slowly come into the game I see nothing of Freddie or Gazelde who are uh, playing in that three alongside Ukra up top we might see something now, the flag has gone up here, as Loach makes the save from Yazelde. He is pacey, he's strong. Uh, did the linesman get this right? Very close, isn't it? I'm not so sure he did, I thought he was just on when it played. Just one appearance for his club side, Braga, this season. But they have very high hopes for him. Carroll gets the flick, hooked away by Fabio Faria. We well, can see the flags in the stand. It is a very blustery day here at Wembley. That won't make things easy at all. Stuart Pearce looking on. Rose away by Cariso. They get another chance here. Again, Daniel Cariso, a thunderous right boot downfield towards Yazelde. Well played by Loach. And then Smalling just caught in possession by the lively Rui Pedro. And that will be a free kick to Portugal. Maybe in Delft holding his head, but no complaints here. No, that's a foul. I mean, he's just got to learn to stand still, though. He can't just fly into the tackle. But I think you've got to be careful. There's all his pace on, on, on the counter attack. He showed it there, although he didn't get the ball. He looked like he's very quick. Well, the defenders are forward here. Look that over the ball. Real name, Andre Montero. But he prefers to be known by his nickname, Look that, as many of the Portuguese players do. And he's got a really good right foot on it. Was back pedaling, he's cleared it as far as Freddy. Mancian is a defender, but he manages to get the cross in away by Micah Richards. Good spell for the Portuguese here. Trent Silva knocking it in, knocked away by Andy Carroll, who's very much as useful in defence as he is up top on occasion. by Rose, and Carroll to chase, but uh, Cariso with a good stretch, England get the throw. He's a threat, isn't he, Carroll? He is, I mean, but we need to get, I mean, we need to get some quality into him, a bit higher up the park, instead of just, like, launching it long into him when he's got no support. We need to get the two full-backs supporting the two wide men to get some good quality crosses in for him. And there's Rose, free kick to England. Rose, who's uh, on loan at Peterborough from Tottenham. There's the ball in towards Carroll! Well, he strained every sinew to get there, and you feel that any sort of touch and it would have been a goal. Yeah, it's a great delivery from Rhodes, you know, just in the second six-yard box of searching. I don't know if he's gone with his wrong foot there, maybe if he's gone with his right, he might have got it. Well, that's the closest we've come. Carroll with two goals in two caps, both of them. In that second half against Macedonia, that crazy second half, 
could have had a hat trick as well, but he opted to set up Zavon Hines instead. And Stuart Pearce will know Portugal are a big threat to England. Yes, England will dominate possession this lunchtime, but uh, the Portuguese are a menace. They've got plenty of attacking threat as well with their pace. Played by Rose, but uh, England lose out with Muamba. Here's Adrian Silva. Miguel Vitor finding Pedro Marrero on by Rui Pedro. And the free kick goes Portugal's way here. Well, Muamba likes a challenge. We saw how threatening Portugal can be from the set piece last time out. Again, Ukra over the ball. Loach dealt with the last one. That one took away by Kieran Gibbs. Well, the crowd are a little bit quiet here. There's a 30,000 of them. Hoping to see uh, England make a fast start. Okra, well hemmed in at the moment. Loach deals with his cross, no one getting in front of him in a red shirt. Didn't have the best of games against Macedonia last month. So he got four clean sheets for Watford this season in 16 games. Although he did keep a clean sheet against Preston at the weekend. Carroll with the flick again. Sooner or later, one of those is going to come off because he's winning everything in the air. Well, that's the advantage of having him, you know. If you're going to play it this way, you've got to have bodies going in behind him. You know, your midfield runners, your Gibbs, Rose, cleverly, you have to get a little bit more forward. One thing you guarantee about Andy Carroll is he will work tirelessly for the team for the full 90 minutes. So far, so good for England. No real major scares. Rose. Pulled by Bertrand. Just got a little bit too much behind that one. Again, walking pace from the Portuguese at the back. Nicely taken by Okra. Rizalde been penalised there for that challenge. England are grateful for that as Delft went down. Big up and under, what a lovely ball it is to Cleverly. Tries to dig out the cross. And Rose flying in. And that's about as much as he could do. Yeah, it's a great ball that from Delphac to Cleverly. And uh, the cross, he's obviously looking for Carroll, but it was just over Carroll and uh, Rose coming in on the header. But it's a little bit better from England, man. And Stuart Pierce has had so many injuries in the build up to this game, he won't want any more. Rose just feeling his right calf there. He's OK. There's so many players in the build-up to this game, including Jack Rodwell. The other day, called up uh, Rodwell's Everton teammate, Dan Gosling. He was on the bench today. Another Portugal free kick here. Once again, Yazalde causing the problems, and Mwamba with the foul. Daniel Carrizo. Yazalde's made the run, but uh, even he's not quick enough to get to that one. Where 
as Oceana Cruz. The Portugal coach took over in the summer. And his first game was that 4-1 win over Lithuania. Look for a score twice. No win since. Carroll penalised by the German official. As a defender, you wouldn't like to play against him too often, would you? No, um, and then also the Portuguese probably aren't used to players like him, you know. I mean, in England, it's uh, a centre forward we have quite a lot of, but over there, they're probably not used to that physical presence. So it'd be interesting to see how the two centre-halves cope against him. Giselde held off there by Michael Richards, using every bit of his strength. Not many players get past Michael Richards like that with his upper body strength. Best ball Chris Smalling will play this afternoon, to put it mildly. Adrian Silva, well stopped by Gibbs. Rose. Now Mwamba. Richards. England still dominating the possession. Richards just took that one touch too many, but uh, Mancien's got it, looking for cleverly. England get the throw. Good play by Miguel Vitor. Vitor with the one player who plays for Benfica in the side. Mancien's cross. Not too many England bodies in the middle. And Mancien couldn't keep that one in. Premier League games for Wolves so far, Michael Manti in this season. A couple of clean sheets in there. Cleverly. Now Richards. Delph. Manti in. up to Rose, there's a little bit of a cul-de-sac, and the upshot is Portugal throw. Perrinha, the right full-back with the throw. Another free kick here. You do feel England can't afford to keep giving away free kicks in this sort of area. No, because they've got good quality. Urukro is going to deliver good balls. You know they've had a few already, so they just need to be a little more patient when they've got the ball as well. To try not to go forward too quickly, too early. You know? well, Carolina took charge of that one, took it short. Adrian Silva, debate to Mancien, Fabio Ferreira, goal forward from fullback here. And that free kick is uh, well won by Tom Cleverley. Waited for the challenge, down he went. And get the free kick. That's clever play, isn't it? It's very clever. I mean, it's, it's good defending as well. I mean, it's, it's good dummy by the forward. Mansions, you know, out of position. Or cleverly, he's covered him well there. It's a bit of a game of chess so far. The side has really managed to get on top. It's interesting that Gibbs hasn't really got on the ball in the last 10 minutes. He started off quite brightly, but hasn't really seen him on the ball as much yet. Pedro Moreira back to Carolina. Okra. Starting to find their rhythm, Portugal. That's well broken up by Gibbs initially. Fabio Faria gives it away. Scrappy is Mancien. Emily, who is a player, can get his foot on the ball and make things happen. He's found Mancien. Who couldn't quite return the compliment. Rui Pedro up towards Freddy. Remember uh, again. 
made a free kick. Again, no complaints. Pedro goes over. Miguel Vitor. It's well stolen by Mancia. Oh, the referee penalised him there. I think he got the ball cleanly to me. Yeah, I think it was one of them. If that happens in the Premiership, it's not a foul, but, you know, these international refs sometimes, the studs are showing, and uh, he's penalised him straight away. Oh, he'll feel unlucky there, Michael Mancia. No harm done, England have the ball again. Gibbs to Mancia. Carroll, a little push in the back by Daniel Caliso. This sort of free kick that Alan Shearer used to win throughout his career, this, isn't it? Yeah, he's it's, 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 it's very clever there. He's just got his body in front of it, and as the ball's coming, he's just let into the back defender. Defenders try to get it, and just the only way he can do it is by pushing him, you know, and fouling him. probably a little bit too far out for a shot, but maybe Delph or Gibbs might want to take it on. Well played by Andy Carroll, and he waits. and takes it short to Cleverly. And that's dinked up. Oh, and then off the bar, I think Rose is flying in. I wondered if that was just going in of its own volition anyway. I think the flag's up to deny England anyway. Oh, Rose has headed that onto the underside of the bar. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great little ball. I mean, he obviously didn't mean to, to chip it that far, but it's a great ball. And he's, you know, underneath the bar and he's headed, but unfortunately he's offside. Now, is this going in anyway? I think it might I be. I think it was going in as well, yeah. If Rose had held back, I think Cleverly would have scored. Not that he was trying to score from there. And they passed the midway point of the first half. That would have been a very nice moment for England to take the lead. Bertrand looking for Rose. Well, the turf is so wet after the uh, deluge of rain we've had in the last 24 hours. Despite his pace, he wasn't going to get there. Stuart Pearce's 19th match in charge of the under-21s. On ten of them. There's the earlier chance, David, and I think that's going in, isn't it? I think it was actually just going to probably go in via the far post, yeah. At the moment Rose decided to make a move, he was offside and the flag had to go up. Bit of a let off for the Portuguese. They seem to be showing no real interest in attacking in open play. Well played by Freddy. Followed by Adrian Silva. Knocked back by Freddy. And this is promising, as Alde was waiting. Well, Danny Rose tracking back, and uh, this is going to be the first corner of the match. Pedalinha, the full-back, getting forward to cause problems. Let's see how England deal with the set-piece, because they were very vulnerable from these corners against Macedonia. You may recall Kieran Gibbs slicing one into his own net in that game. Ukra over the ball. Well attacked by Michael Richards. Adrian Silva. Look at that. England trying to push up here. And again, no real rush to try and get the ball forward again. No, they're quite happy just to sit, play it around. And, you know, they've had a few free kicks and they've had their first corner, so are they looking at the Macedonia game thinking, oh, maybe we can expose England at the back from set plays? You see the rain coming down heavy again in Wembley. Maria. Rui Pedro. Adrian Silva. Perrinha. Now Daniel Cariso. Rui Pedro, that's nicely done. And knocked inside and over by Yazalde. And that's the best chance of the game. And for a player of his quality, that's a really bad miss.
It was good play by Portugal. They kept it, kept it, waited for the right moment. You know, they slipped it in, in the guy running in the right hand side. And as he's pulled it back, okay, maybe you could say it's just in the air a little bit. Had it been on the ground, maybe he would have scored, but it was a decent chance, and he should have at least hit the target from there. And his 12th cap for the Portugal under 21s today is Elde. Uh, bobbled up on him, didn't it? But even so, he had time. Pellerinia causing problems getting down that right hand side. That's the sort of fullback that loves to attack. I think they're just getting a foothold in the game now, Portugal. You know, it's, it's approaching the half hour mark and uh, they've slowly got into it and they're slowly pressing them back a little bit. Yes, Alde. By Freddy, Rui Pedro. You can see them visibly gaining in confidence. Shano Cruz is met. Rui Pedro. No way through there for Rui Pedro. That's for Gil Vicente. When he scored against Lithuania in the coach's first game. All badly missed by Smalling. Yazalde. The drop here for Ukra. Cleverly helping out in defence. That was the first real defensive slip, which almost let the Portuguese in. Fabio Faria, here comes Loach, who fumbles, and Yezal, they can't capitalise. Wet ball. And that was almost a horrible moment for Loach. Yes, yeah, the second time he's fumbled now. It was a mistake by Small in initially, I think, but fantastic play by uh, Cleverly, who's come back to help his fullback out. And then when the ball came back in, he uh, he wasn't very confident going for that catch, uh, Loach. But uh, I mean, you have to say he's very blustery there, very wet. So uh, given the benefit of the doubt on that one. Particularly as Yazalde didn't actually score. Yazalde going down there looking for a free kick. And in fact, uh, the second challenge on Rose does earn England the set piece. Freddie, the man pulled up by the German official here. We said that wasn't a foul by Smalling. That, that that was. Richards with a lovely run. That's it. Very difficult to knock Richards off the ball in full flow. Bell found to Bertrand. Rose. Lovely skill by Rose. Well, it wasn't bad. Carroll just couldn't quite get in front of the goalkeeper there. I think there, you know, it's the ideal opportunity to stick one in the fire post. That's what Carroll's looking for. You know, it, it's not a bad ball, because it's, it's a little bit too near the keeper. If he could just stand one up fire post, I think, you know, your money would be on Carroll to win it. Well, when England do get out wide and get the crosses in, they are looking a threat. And I think Stuart Pearce will want them to do it just a little bit more. They need to do a little bit higher up the pitch as well, and it like like that. Then that last phase of play from uh, England, then getting that last third and get crosses in, and Carroll will become dangerous. Well, the skipper Daniel Carrizo was caught here by Danny Rose. Accidental, as you can see from that, but it'll still be painful. Yeah, I think he just kind of pulled out at the last minute, but <laughs> it's obviously hurt him a little bit. Well, miserable conditions here. Hoods up, umbrellas up. It's pretty chilly as well with this blustery wind. Not ideal conditions. And half an hour gone. Both sides have had their chances. Is Alde beaten in the air by Smalling? Gibbs. Well, this is Freddy for Portugal. Rui Pedro. England had plenty of men back there. And here's Cleverly. Been in really good form, Cleverly. Nancy enter Cleverly again. Away by Daniel Cariso. Mancien, again looking for the diagonal to Carroll, 
who gets there. Well, he just bullied Daniel Caruso there. See, they're the balls, you know, when, when they get in that far forward and they put balls in like that, unfortunately there was no pace on that cross, so Carroll's had to generate all the pace. But you can see if you get it in that area with a bit more pace, he will win more than he will lose. And I think he will cause a lot of problems for the Portuguese defence. And I think it's a case of the centre half, he doesn't know what to do, doesn't know to get really tight to him or sort of, you know, try and get a leap at him. And uh, they need to get better crosses in from that area, though, with a bit more pace. Okra popping up on this near side. So tricky with the ball at his feet. And Loach did well there because uh, Freddie was coming in from the far side. That's what Okra's all about. Pass one, pass two, pass three. Quality. Yeah, he's done well there. He'd be a bit disappointed with his cross, but it was nice for Loach to collect that without uh, you know, spilling it because it was a dangerous ball. Another clear foul against Mwamba. He's had a fair few, hasn't he, in this first half? Yeah, it's important, I think, for England that Mwamba and Delft, the two sort of holding midfield players, get to grips with them because, you know, they start giving fouls away a little bit further down the park and they'll be in a bit of trouble. He's got the most caps in the current squad, 23 so far. Yes, Alde. The best chance of Portugal in this first half, and that's looking for Freddie on the far side. It's a very good header away by Ryan Bertrand. Cariso hits it back from Rui Pedro. Freddie. I think you see the downside now playing one up front. When Portugal are attacking and they've pinned us back a bit, when we clear it, they just pick it up and come at us again. That's Cruz and... Pierce, are they going to be sitting there happy so far? I'm sure Stuart Pierce is going to be thinking about the tactics in the half time interval. Look at that. Javier Faria. Look at that. Adrian Silva. Pararinia. Adrian Silva, Pereirinha again, knocked in towards Yeselde, who could have gone for goal, instead he looked for Luke Rui Pedro. Vital foot in from Michael Richards. Uh, did you expect Yeselde to go for goal there? I did, another good passage of skill from uh, the Portuguese players, and he's clipped it in, I thought he was just going to head for goal. Fortunately for England, he's tried to knock it down, a little bit of a skill by uh, Rui Pedro, but fortunately for England, he couldn't get the shot in. Andy Carroll floored here by the nudge of Miguel Vitor. Right in the ribs, this one. Yeah, that could be painful, but, you know, they're, they're trying to win the ball there higher up Portugal, I think, you know, because they realise he's a danger, so if, if they do foul him on the halfway line, I don't think they're that bothered. Pedro Marera fouled on that occasion. The fans don't like it, it was Gibbs with the challenge. Again, it's, he sort of left the floor for an instant, hasn't he? And the referee just won't stand for that. It's clear. Right. Anything the stud show, and he'll give. But, but England are given. They're giving away a lot of free kicks at the moment, England. And uh, Portugal have just sort of got the upper hand, I think, at the moment. Pararinha with the free kick. Back in by Adrian Silva. Through for Fabio Faria, here comes Loach, he decided against it at the last moment. Chris Smalling got it away. Ukra. Cleverly is a defender. Well done by Ukra. Up in the air by Michael Richards. Freddy. Well, that was a good spell by the Portuguese. Smalling then ever saw our defensive header, it was a great cross in, but he got his body in front of the centre forward in... Uh, very important header. Kieran Gibbs. And you can see plenty of fouls in this first half. 19. I'm sure the conditions aren't helping with that statistic, Dave. No, that's right. I mean, you, you sort of give them a little, little leeway with the uh, with the weather, but uh, need to be a little bit tight in the middle of the park. I think, as I said earlier, Delph and Moamba need to to get to grips with the, with the three in there, really. Yes, Alde. Looking for Ukra. 
and onto the roof of the net. Scott Loach was aware that that one was flying over. But uh, it got a little nick on its way through. So more defensive work for Scott Loach to do here. Second Portuguese corner. Ukra to take. 11th cap for the under-21s. As Alde was near post. And the uh, decision goes England's way. You can see it's absolutely pelting down now. If either side can get the advantage before half-time, it could be priceless. You can see there, you know, the ball gets flicked on the middle of the park and there's, there's no one up, there's any carol, and he's not going to be able to work the whole of the, of the side of the pitch. So you need to get someone pushed up a little bit, whether it's Gibbs or the, the two wide men maybe come inside a little bit. Richards, excellent against Rui Pedro, he's a tricky customer. Played by Fabian Delph. Bertrand. Kieran Gibbs uh, pulled it out, foxed his man there, but he'd read his intentions. There's Yazelde. And again, surrounded by white shirts. Oh, that was a difficult ball for England to defend. They didn't have any red shirts far post. They're known in there, and uh, Manson wasn't sure whether to play it back to the goalie or, or clear it. In the end, he sort of was in two minds, but uh, he's got away with it. Carroll is looking quite isolated at times now. Cleverly. So few options. Because Carroll's not, you know, quick, it, it does limit and they have to get it into him. But when they get it into him, they have to have body support in him. And at the moment, they're not doing that because Portugal have penned them back in their own half. And they look very good at the moment, very comfortable on the ball, knock it around, very assured. Beautifully taken by Yazalde. Smalling was the man holding him up. Adrian Silva's lost out here to Delph. Carroll. Delph again. Adrian Silva's gone to ground. It's played in short towards Rose, who just couldn't take it in his stride. There was an example of England getting men forward. Mancien looking for Carroll. Knocked out for Rose, big chance, goal for England! Danny Rose with his first for the England under-21s. Joy around Wembley, made by Carroll, scored by Rose, and England with the vital lead. There you go, it was perfect what we were talking about earlier, Manson with a diagonal cross, Carroll calls in all sorts of trouble, just knocked it into the path of your runner, the midfield runner, Rose has come through, had a touch and finished comfortably. You know, it was, it was what we were on about earlier. When the ball goes into Carroll, you need to get bodies around him, which is happened this time. Great ball, Mansion, great head to down, and a good finish from Rose. He did well to get it out of his feet here, didn't he? That first he touch did. went up it on his He did, a great little touch, you know, he could have just bobbled up, and, you know, it's, it's a great touch out and a, a very cool finish. Probably slightly against the runner play as well. Carroll with two defenders around him, managed to get the knockdown. Finished beautifully by Rose. First of the season. And five minutes before half time, England in front. A well executed goal as well. Here's Freddie, the youngest member of the Portuguese side. He's the only one that is actually under 20. No way through there. His second cap as well. by Freddie again. Well, the job now for Stuart Pearce's side is to hold on until half-time at the bare minimum. So you see the confidence coming back now, they're knocking it around well. I mean, it makes Pearce's team talk a little bit easier now, I think. Bertrand. 
On by Gibbs, Bertrand again. Oh, the defender went to ground, didn't he? Perarinha, and he just couldn't lift it over him. He's in full flight there. These two players will be very happy. And England going one up. Because you couldn't really see where the goal was coming from at that stage. And look at his so clears. Well one back by Smalling. A real tenacity and determination about England. But here's Freddy for Portugal. Looking for Fabio Faria. Mancien is a defender. And he'll want it back on his uh, right if possible. Adrian Silva. Headed by Gibbs. Cleverly. Carroll just beaten to it by Miguel Vitor. Freddy. Rui Pedro popping up on this near side. Not much movement ahead of him. Adrian Silva. Daniel Carrizzo coming forward from the back. Letting fly from 40 yards. Yazalde battling. Cleared by Mwamba. Rose to Mwamba again. Look at the space he's got to move into here. And the Portugal could be stretched. And Gant just couldn't take that in his stride. Oh, that's uh, another free kick. Delph again saying, I got the ball. I think he did get the ball that one, but just going back to that, Mwamba has got a little better pass there into uh, Gibson it could have been 2-0 as it is Portugal have the free kick with two minutes to half time taken short Perarinha Carissa well played Smalling Mwamba, Mancien. Will England get one more opportunity before the half-time interval? Bertrand, very comfortable at left back in this first half. Gibbs. Jury's still out on his uh, position in this first half, I think. David, yeah, definitely. Like I say, he started very brightly the first 10 minutes, but then once Portugal started getting into the game, you didn't really see him for a while. Now, you know, England are finishing the, the half a lot stronger. They look a lot more assured since they've scored, you know. Obviously, it's amazing what a goal does for confidence. And I think just see it out now to half-time in the regroup again. Bertrand. Didn't quite run through for Andy Carroll there, or cleverly. Freddy clears. Oh, Mwamba has given that one away. Dangerous, he's given it straight to Ukra. Bertrand, the defender here. Cleared by Smalling. And he had a little bit of a nervy start for Smalling. But uh, he's been rock solid in the last half an hour. Pedro Marero. Oh, there were three red shirts in the middle there, but he couldn't get the cross in. And no stoppage time at all at the end of the first half. England lead by a goal to nil. Danny Rose with the strike with his first goal at this level, delighting the Wembley crowd, set up by the excellent Andy Carroll. Portugal, though, still very much in this game. Danny Rose can celebrate a first goal for the England under-21s, but England can't yet celebrate three priceless points. It's going to be a fascinating second half here at Wembley. Half-time, England 1, Portugal 0.
Satanta Sports, your passport to the best in European football this weekend. The Bundesliga, Bayern Munich v Bayer Leverkusen and Hamburg v Bochum. League One, Marseille v PSG, Auxerre v Monaco and Montpellier v Lille. And in Serie A, Napoli v Lazio and Sampdoria v Chievo. Live European football, this weekend on Satanta Sports. This Sunday, it's Showtime Kickboxing with the World 77 Max Championship. It's Showtime Kickboxing this Sunday on Satanta Sports. MUTV on Satanta Sports is the number one place for Red Devils fans. Follow all the goings on from the inside on United's own dedicated channel. See all the action as they chase their fourth Barclays Premier League title in a row, plus a campaign for cup glory at home and in Europe. And don't miss club features and player profiles throughout the season. MUTV, exclusive to Satanta Sports. Our coverage of the 2010 World Cup Qualifier Playoffs continues Thursday with the second leg of Slovenia v Russia and Bosnia v Portugal. 2010 World Cup Qualifier Playoffs, Thursday on Satanta Sports. It's going to be the Portuguese to start the second half, trailing by a goal to nil. Torsten Kinhofer, the German referee, just checking with his two assistants. So away we go in the second half. England with the slender advantage. And we saw enough from Portugal to suggest that they are far from out of this game. And how England would love the second goal. Carolina, the uh, number 11, the right back who created a lot of problems for England on that far side in the first half. He chips it up towards Rui Pedro. And down goes uh, Yazalde under the challenge of Ryan Bertrand. I think that's what we need to cut out, just you know, giving away silly free kicks. So it doesn't. More from England in the first half. Carolina over the ball. Lots of pushing and shoving in the middle. Somehow that managed to miss everyone. Can England break? No, because it's picked up by Adrian Silva. Look at that. In the air by Mancien. Away by Smalling. Ready. Looking it back to Perrinha. Away by Smalling. Lokra challenging far side with Mancien. Good tackle. A much faster start to the second half from Portugal. Thunderous clearance from uh, Mancien. You can see Oceano Cruz. He's clearly said to his players they uh, have to try and set the tempo themselves at the start of this second half. Bertrand's header is a good one. One by Gibbs. Now by Miguel Vitor. And he's fouled. Picked up by Azelde. Pellerinia. Miguel Vitor. Touch at the start of this second half. He has Alde. Ready ahead of him. Instead, it's Pellerinia. Fabio Faria. Look at that. Good ball, he has Alde. Oh, good cross, and look at that. They just couldn't leap high enough there, he has Alde. It's good play out. I think Manson just got caught ball watching there and uh, a little bit too long the cross for Yazalde. But uh, they've started well on the front foot, Portugal. 
I think their manager would have said to him at half time, you know, going forward, play the way we've been playing, just be aware of Carroll. But, you know, don't worry so much about the first ball. It's, it's the runners they've got to be worried about. You know, if I was a manager, I'd be saying, you know, the first ball we're not going to win, so just concentrate on picking up the runners that are going to come off him. But going forward, I don't think, you know, he's going to have so much to say to be honest. Well, they made a complete mess of that throw. Yeah, looking for uh, Petro Moreira, who just knocked it straight back at him with far too much pace. Carroll's flick. Gibbs looking for the goal scorer, Rose. The defender is Miguel Vitor, safety first. You can see Rose is definitely enjoying himself. Gibbs. Oh, very nearly slipping away from three defenders. Rui Petro. Petro Silva, by himself, well blocked by Nuamba. Forward by Faria. Too much on that. All well, the fans would love a second England goal. Bad they're doing their best. The crowd going. I think I might be sitting in front of them. <laughs> no. It's not the best in the world, is it, when you've got someone beating a jump for 90 minutes? Carroll, cleverly. Lancian on the overlap. And he's using him here. But here is a defender. And the cross is deflected behind. And it's England's first corner of the match here. Better for Mansi, you know, that's that's what they want. They want to get the fullbacks pushing on, get the time to get across in, look for Carroll. Yes, that's not why he's been playing for Wolves. Right Cleverly to take the first England corner. Good ball, Carroll! Well, he rose unchallenged. And he knows that's a really good opportunity here. He applauds the service here. It's a great ball that, you know. Uh, I don't know, he should have scored really, I don't know if he's got up too early or what, but it's a great ball and he's just, oh, you know, he, he's hung well, but he just couldn't direct it goalwards. I think if he'd have directed that goalwards, it would have gone in. And again, Daniel Carrizo, the defender, was just totally bullied and out muscled. I think you can see, yeah, he, he's kind of accepted he's not going to win anything in the air against him now. Not even bothering to jump anymore. <laughs> Muamba. Mancia, Freddy lurking just behind him, so he goes backwards. Smalling. Gibbs. Bertrand have made the run. Seen off though by the defender Miguel Vitor. Here's Peradinha. Yes, All the deflected cross swept away only as far as Pedro Moreira. That's looking for Freddy. Then by Fabio Faria. Up in the air by Smalling. Gibbs. Referee happy to play on there. Yeah. Pedro Moreira. That was given on the plate for uh, Andy Carroll. Bad mistake by Adrian Silva. England give it away as well. Forward by Adrian Silva. Straight through to Scott Loach, who really hasn't had an awful lot to do in this game. Forward by Richards to Carroll. Cleverly hey, chases. Fabio Faria. An awkward one to clear. That's really good pressure, isn't it? It is. I mean, that's what I need. They're going to knock balls into Carroll, but once they do that, they've got to push for, further forward. 
you know, and that's still the cause problems. I mean, cleverly he's done well there. He's pressurised him, and now we've got an opportunity where we can set the same up and get across him. Delft, Lancia. Didn't reach Carroll this time. Miguel Vitor clears. that the fans are just expectant here. It's all gone quiet again, cleverly. Young throw. Delph. Hemmed in and uh, ushered behind by Freddy. Getting his opportunity, Stuart Pearce. I think it's important he gets on the ball, Delph, this half. You know, Mamba and him are sitting, but I think, you know, he's probably a little bit better on the ball. He just dictate the sort of tempo of the game. And I think we need to get Gibbs on the ball a lot more as well. He started the half one as well. Small, and he's made a couple of uh, important interceptions he did in the first half, and he made a a good clearance in the second half as well, under a bit of pressure. Flick from uh, Cleverly to Carroll, and goes to ground, Cleverly, that's very nicely done, it's Rose, oh, the touch just allowed, and you got it so in. For a moment you thought he was going to be clean through. Yeah, but just uh, unfortunately a bad touch, you know, that's what I was saying earlier, if, if Carroll's flicking balls on or going into him, the two wide men important they get forward, and he's got forward well there. Bershon. That's looking for Andy Carroll. Fabio Faria with the slip. Cleverly. Carroll. Manciet. Not much the Gibbs could do with that one. It's quite strange seeing him in this role, you know, you're not accustomed to, you know, obviously you've seen him used to bombing on down the wing for Arsenal, but he's a very good footballer, so he, he can play it. It's just they need to get him on the ball a little bit more. Portugal may be thinking about a change. Tiago Sintra is uh, the man who's being readied for what would be his first cap. Foul there by Mancia. No complaints. I think it's a needless foul to give away there, actually. Taking any chances defending this one, everyone back. Such a dangerous ball, and uh, it was attacked by the captain Daniel Cariso. It's a good ball there, Mansion done well there, made up for his error. So the man coming off is Freddie. That's a first cap. Thiago Sintra. I think the man actually do say it, you know, he needs the goal and uh, he's given him sort of 35 minutes to get one, you know, rather than wait the last seven minutes, he's, you know, he's been bold and gone for early. Another one yet to score for his club this season, Thiago Sintra. That one again, headed behind by Carroll. So, Ukra tries once more. Lofted back in by Pererinia. Away by Smalling. They're just desperate to get the ball in there, aren't they? And Carizo drops kindly for Rui Pedro. And then again had enough white shirts back. And Rui Pedro thought he had a side of goal. Four defenders in front of him. Yeah, he wasn't going through there. Like you said, there was three or four ready to block him. And uh, England have just got to see this little bit of... Uh, pressure out and, and try and get you know back into the game push them back Scott Loach plenty of protection in front of him no set pieces hasn't really had a save worthy of the name to make so far
Ferrarinha. Closed down by Gibbs. Just sense a little bit of nervousness and anxiety in the crowd. Yeah, it looks like England just dropped back a bit. You know, sometimes you, get, you are one up defending. You know, you sort of tend to drop a little bit, and uh, I hope they don't drop too deep too soon. Rui Pedro. Adrian Silva back to Miguel Vitor, out to Fabio Faria. Nicely controlled by Ukra, but the ball already gone out of play. Not sure he particularly wants to be out on that left-hand side. Perarinha. Good ball up. Yazalde left it deliberately. Ball by Adrian Silva. Carroll to chase here. Back header from Cariso, the captain. Rui Pedro is nicely taken. Ball by Faria. First to every second ball at the moment, Portugal. Definitely upped it a little bit. Palavinia forward again. He's fouled his man. Gibbs. And England the free kick. Yeah, I think it's just England, the crowd have gone a bit quiet. And I think they just need to uh, try and get all the ball and keep it a little bit more now. You know, Portugal obviously they're, they're desperate to get an equaliser, but they are coming more and more into the game again, like they did in the. Uh, in the first half, or initially after the first ten minutes, where England were a better side, they just sort of start praving England in there. The, the right back's very good for them. Yeah, Perrinha, he uh, plays for Sporting Lisbon. Seven appearances in the first two this season. They're eighth currently in the Portuguese league. Bertrand going down there. He felt the full force of that challenge. He certainly hasn't looked out of place, has he, at left back? No, he's been very comfortable, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, the right back's attacking him at times, but uh, he's, he's dealt with most things quite comfortably at the moment. Carroll chases his own flick there before Pararinha clears. Just past the hour mark at Wembley. Still Danny Rose's goal separates the sides. to take the throw. Didn't reach his Alde. Cleared by Ryan Bertrand. And here's Mancien. Well, well seen by Pedro Moreira. Ukra. Away by Richards. And here's Gibbs. Cleverly. Shields the ball from the left back, Faria Mancia. Cleverly. Carroll. That's beautifully done. Rose on the far side, Gibbs in the middle. Swept away by Carita. It's much better by England. They kept it four or five passes and got in behind him. Unfortunately, the cross was just a little bit behind him. Rui Pedro. Played Nwamba. Gibbs. Bertrand. Oh, given away by Delft. There's the substitute, Thiago Sintra. Oh, that was a very optimistic effort, to say the least. Has Lopes saved the corner? I don't think he has. Clattered off Richards. And from a nothing shot, Portugal have another corner. Like he was going to kick that in, Scott Loach, and it just dribbled behind. Ukra to take. The opposed Thiago Sintra attacked. Ball still in there. Danger for England here. Scott Loach happy to see that one from Faria. Wide. 
You know, with the quality of the crosses coming in, you expect they're going to get a chance very, very soon. I mean, England just needs to be a little bit sharper in the box. You know, he's got a free header, but again, there was no pace for him. He had to generate it all. Another change here, Castro coming on. For his uh, 13th cap. Very much experienced uh, at this level. The man going off, Adrian Silva. Well, Adrian Silva, much more of a defensive midfield player. Castro, on the other hand, likes to get forward. He's got a couple of goals this season from midfield. In fact, he's top scorer for Holonense in Portugal. with the throw, Bertrand to take. Gibbs has won a corner off Pellerinia, only England's second corner of the match. Now, just came to life a little bit there after a long spell of Portuguese pressure. You can just hang this up far post, carries and attack it. Cleverly. Instead he went near post. I think when you got the you know, you've got the target man six and four or five stick. I don't know why you're sticking it in near post. You know, they're obviously expecting it to go to Carroll. So, you know, and they're not defending very well against him and they're you know, a little bit scared of him. So just, you know, hang one up and let him see what he can do. Bertrand to Gibbs. No way through there. Here's Alde, well watched by Smalling. Cleverly, very neatly away from Pedro Moreira. Rose joining in, ball in front of everyone in the middle. It's a great ball in right across the six-yard box. Cleverly done very well there, just slid him in. You know, you can see Carroll's going near post. Just you know, no one would have kept going maybe. Oh, defenders hate that sort of ball. It's a great ball in that. Just checked his run, didn't he, Carroll? He did. He sort of went near, you know. And I'm thinking, well. Surely he's got to look for the, the fire stick, if anything. There's Alde chasing, Richards as a defender. And corner. Unnecessary mistake over Richards, he's got there, he's got his body there, done ever so well, and then, you know, ran out for a, a corner. Maybe he's waiting for his keeper there, away he just sort of had a little chat with him. Richards, of course, has 11 for the full England side. This is his 12th cap for the under-21s. It's a woeful corner from Portugal. And then we'll take that. Shana Cruz not impressed. We haven't had too many clear cut openings. Bertrand not exactly hurrying over the throw here. Pedro bustling his way through, Yazalde. Two England defenders attacked it, and Yazalde, the decision's gone against him here. He can't believe it. I couldn't really see where the ref was coming from, actually, with that decision. I think they ran into each other, the two defenders, and uh, I, honestly, I was a little bit baffled there by uh, the referee's decision. But thankfully, we've got well, England will take it, that's for sure. Carroll. Ball from Delph was a bit short. Younger you know, Sintra nicked it. Another play by Andy Carroll. Daniel Cariso to Miguel Vitor. We're approaching the midway point of the second half. Still England lead. Ukra on the chase here for Portugal. That's it, did a great job there. Still comes in from Faria. through for Thiago Sintra. Mets can wave in the uh, stadium. Never a good sign. I do think that uh, Portugal have probably just shaded this second half. Gibbs. A bit more noise in the band. Trying to take the throw. 
as England still go in search of this second goal. It should make the scoreline look uh, a lot more comfortable. Delft finding Luamba. Mancier. Cleverly. Back to Mancien. Can he get the ball in? Across came Miguel Vitor to ensure he couldn't. Well read by the centre back. Mancien to take the throw. It's just gone a little bit flat at the moment of the game. In England, I think, we need to. Maybe change it, maybe go to 4 4 2 for the last. Uh, it looks like they're sort of preparing a sub there. Maybe change it, go 4 4 2 and give them a, a different problem because, you know, the way Portugal will keep probing, keep probing. Maybe we could have sort of two banks of four and then with two up front, we can go forward and hit them on the break. Zavon Hines and, of course, Daniel Sturridge available. Rui Pedro. Well, it's set up nicely for him to have a crack, but he hits small in. Well played, Andy Carroll. And here's Gibbs. Held up at the moment by Pellerinia, but this is cleverly. But he is a defender. And down he goes. Well, I don't think he got the ball. Goal kick is the verdict. Yeah, well, the linesman's right there looking at uh, Again, as you would say, I don't think he got the ball. Let's have a look. There's another look at it now. No, he's not touched the ball. Whether he's touched the man, I don't know, but... Uh, See him given. Looked like a blatant push in the back on that viewing, but Linesman would have been uh, blindside of that. Certainly a good look at the referee from Cleverly. 20 minutes to go. That will be a free kick. Look at furious with the referee. He's won the ball, but he's coming clattered in from behind first, you know, that's why the refs give the free kick there. Both coaches right on the edge of their technical areas. Bertrand. Gibbs. Well, he came flying in there, Castro. He's a little bit hemmed in there, Kieran Gibbs. Forward by Bertrand, Carroll, battling again for the ball, foul by Daniel Carissa. This gives England the opportunity to put Micah Richards forward. Carroll in there being watched by Fabio Ferreira. Bertrand to deliver. Here comes the keeper. Too easy. Long way back for a defender, isn't it, when you come forward there? <laughs> it is, you know. You've got to run 60 yards back. You, can, you, you run all that way and then he pops it straight into the keeper down. You've got to run all the way back, you think, oh, and then I think next time, should I really bother? By Carroll, just too much on the flick. Well, very different to England's last game, that 6-3 goal fest against Macedonia. And we're going to have to grind this one out. There's Castro. Did well to keep it in. Smalling away, it's been excellent in the second half. Bertrand. And Gibbs quickly closed down though by Pedrinha. He's got it again, the right back. Here's Alde's waiting. It's over him. It's over Ukra as well. Thankfully for England there, he's overhit it. He's got in a great position, the right back there. But he's just over at the pass. Andy Carroll to chase here. He's waiting for support to arrive. Cleverly is the nearest player to him in a white shirt. Lamba. 
see uh, Kyle Norton at the top of your picture. Getting ready to come on for England. That would suggest that Michael Mancien might be coming off. Here he is on the ball. Cleverly span away from his man, but there was just too much on the through ball from Michael Mancien. That may well be his last contribution. Carroll. Miguel Vitor is a defender. That's where you might favour the centre back. It's an England throw. Carroll's cross. Carroll again. Nicely played into Delft. Castro put it away. And that's looking for Yazelde. Well played by Richards. Cleverly stopped by Ferrier. Again, the referee just doesn't like those challenges because it's a free kick, even though he may well have got the ball. Yeah, I think when they go to ground and the studs are showing, the ref will instantly give a free kick. But Smalling and, and, and Richards at the back three have done well. They've uh, intercepted some important uh, phases of play from Portugal this half. You know, they nearly got in again, but um, they were there again with Paragon. Jack Cork also coming on for England. Mancian's free kick. There's really no one forward there. Well won back by Muamba. Not for long. Put it down by Thiago Sintra looking for Yazelde. Away by Smalling. Stuart Pearce is going to make this double change now. Jack Cork replacing the goal scorer Danny Rose. And Carl Norton indeed replacing Michael Mancien. So there we go. Jack Cork, the first man on. The Chelsea man was on loan at Coventry. 13 appearances for Chris Coleman's side this season. Kyle Norton replacing Michael Mancier. Kyle Norton, who's, uh, of course, at Spurs. A couple of appearances since his big money move from Sheffield United. This is his sixth cap. Just a concern for Mancier there as he heads straight down the tunnel. He yeah, obviously he's picked up a knock, and I've been a surprise, you know, he would have changed it otherwise, a right back. You, know? you want to keep your back four together if you can, but he must have had a little knock in that. And I think the other one caught just uh, a little bit more in midfield. He'd probably just tuck in. It, I think it looks like he's put Gibbs wider and just corking in sort of a, a three-man centre midfield with Gibbs in um, cleverly still operating wide. Here's Alde most frustrated with the way his afternoon has got. There's the attendance, 33,833. That's a very good figure. Bottom tier of Wembley, the only seats available today. Every ticket that was available was sold. Challenge from Delft. Forward by Rui Pedro. Okra. Yazelde. This is Pereirinha. And he's in round the back here. Cleared by Bertrand. And Portugal thinking about another change here. They're going to bring on another striker. I think they've got to take a risk now, you know, 15 minutes to go. They're desperate for a goal. So. Rui Pedro blazes yeah, that one over. Again, it just sat up for him. It's uh, well over. João Aurelio. He plays for Nacional. He scored against Lithuania in the coach's first match. He's got a couple of goals for his club this season. They're currently fourth in Portugal. The man going off is the man who's just had that shot, Rui Pedro. So 
So João Aurelio would expect him to go uh, pretty much straight through the middle. Looks like he might be playing to the right of Thiago Sintra with Ukra on the left-hand side. But England have the free kick. Second goal now surely seals the victory. Ryan Bertrand over the ball. Carroll with the flick. Gibbs. And uh, Micah Richards was waiting. Gibbs stretched and stretched to get there. Yeah, he just couldn't quite get enough power on it, could he? Again, you know, the ball into Carroll, he's won it, which he's won most things all afternoon, and just couldn't quite get the power into the into the header gives. Richards. Fulham's Chris Smalling. And then we'll happily take the throw there. There's a chance again, David. Yeah, as it come in again, Carroll, you know, two defenders on him, just couldn't get any, you know, it was hard going away from goal, he sort of twisted his neck back round, but just couldn't quite get it back into Richards, who was, you know, waiting for it. Okra knocking it back to Miguel Vitor. Okra again. Faria. Oh, that's a good run forward by Vitor from centre back. But, uh, Scott Loach saw the danger, made the catch. Yeah, they're going to take chances now. They're going to throw bodies forward in the attempt for this equaliser last 10 minutes. So I think I could pick them off at the back, you know, create a couple of chances and hopefully get the second. Castro. Ventura hasn't had an awful lot to do in goal. No chance for Rose's strike. I don't think either keeper really has had much to do, have they? You know? The referee didn't like that challenge at all. Castro has looked a little bit uh, physical since coming on. Captain speaking to the referee, but I don't think he's going to get the yellow card out here. He hasn't done all afternoon. He's definitely taken the conditions into account. Cleverly. Walk with a touch. Big old up and under. But, uh, Scott Loach needed to be there. And cleverly. Smalling again. No chance for Delph there. And again, the game's gone into a little bit of a lull. I'm sure he's hoping that Portugal will get another clear opportunity. I think you've know, just got to see it out now professionally, you know, just get men behind the ball when, when Portugal have got it and just see it out, you know, defend properly and, and I think that they should have enough to uh, see out the 1-0 victory. Okra will kick this in. Norton is a defender. Castro. Hustling with Cleverly, who did well. Muamba. Delft bringing Gibbs into play. Delft fouled. He's done well second half, Delft, you know, he's come more into it, he's gotten the ball more, he's made a few things happen. And he's been clever there, just one on free kick. And Bertrand on set piece duty again here. After one 
Alex Carroll didn't win the header. Just a little nudge in the back from Miguel Vitor. Here's Alde. It's a foul. Striker on striker. Andy Carroll just tripping it. Free kick here. Keeps fouling uh, Joao Aurelio, who's just come on. It's Pellerinia. Miguel Vitor. Faria for Ukra. Over here's Alde. Easily headed away by Bertrand. Good header as well. Miguel Vitor again. Now Faria. Portugal toiling here. Forward by Moreira. Santiago Sintra. Thought it got the better of Micah Richards there. Scott Loach off his line quickly. I think they just lack a little bit of cleverness in the final third, Portugal. You know, they have a lot of possession, and when it comes into the final third, they just lack, you know, something. I'm not sure what it is. Carroll took that beautifully on the chest. Cork. Again, Cork. It's a rare shot on target in this second half. Yeah, it's probably the first one in the bat, isn't it, for, for quite a while. Absolutely. Just didn't quite get his laces behind it. Haven't scored uh, this season for Coventry. In fact, he's had a hundred, over 100 appearances on loan at various clubs the last few years. Only scored three goals in that time. Danny Rowe is being announced here as the man of the match. I want to argue with that as he's uh, got the goal. <laughs> Into the last five minutes. Pereirinha. Which will did get a late equaliser in their last game. João Aurelio. Oh, Scott Loach had to be very sharp there. He's the man that's just come on. Yeah, he's done well there, you know, he brushed off first from well. He's probably on his wrong foot and uh, he's got it on target, but Loach has gone down well and uh, saved comfortably. Disappointment there for Andy Carroll. Be a good shout from out of the match, I'd have thought, once again. Yeah, he's done well. I thought Smalling's done well, especially second half. Richards has looked assured. Delft's gotten the ball well. But, you know, it's not been a great match, you know, and there's not been great chances, but a professional performance, you know, if we see it out, we win 1-0. Nicely taken by Joao Aurelio. Pereirinha. Oh, it's over Yazalde and swept behind by Kyle Norton. That was a dangerous move. Yeah, again, the right back, he's, he's done brilliant there, but he just overhit the cross a little bit, or, or as he, you know, he's expecting the left winger to come in on it, but Norton's defended that well. Okra with the corner. Well defended by Carroll. That was a... England reluctant to push up here. Pedalinia will get the throw. Just hanging on a little bit here, Stuart Pierce's side. Castro. Tiger Sintra couldn't take that in his stride. Defending deep, but defending well, England. Forward by Castro. Now cleverly. Surging run. Carroll. Lovely layoff. Delft ricochets through to Carroll again. Will it come for Gibbs? No. I don't think even want an open game in the last five minutes. I, you know, don't want us to attack them to attack. I think they just need to, you know, sit sit in, be tight, and just see the game out now.
Castro. Anthony Anxious looks at the clock for the England fans in the closing stages. Petro Morera. Pedarinha away from Gibbs. And teased in by Jao Aurelio. Hooked away by Cleverly. They're sitting deep now, England. Fabio Faria just took his eye off the ball. And will be uh, quite happy about that. This gives them a bit of a breather. Yeah, approaching the 90th minute now. Just need to, you know, stick it into Carroll, let him get hold of it, you know, play it in the corners and just see out whatever the ref adds on at the end. Shana Cruz is uh, right to be concerned because it would leave his side with only four points from their four games and they would really be struggling. Well, this game is not over just yet. Yes, Alde goes for the return. Well played, Nico Richards. Stuart Pierce might think about one more change. Waste a bit of time. Free kick to England there. Ryan Gosling is the other man who will be coming on here. Just to waste a little bit of time now, you know, so approaching the 90th minute, I'm short of three minutes, so yeah, just waste a little bit of time. Yeah. Could be a long three minutes this for England. Had a play by Norton. Another long throw here for the Portuguese. Cleverly's header, then Gibbs. Up and under. And here comes Loach. Good clean catch. Could of course mean uh, Dan Gosling earlier. He's uh, ready to come on. Carroll's taken that well. Well played, Carroll. Neatly away from Cariso. Is there support for him? Well, he'll happily take the call. He's done well there, yeah. You know, he looked up, seeing was in the box, and thought, no, I won't put it in. You know, I'll just wait for the defender, get a corner. He's going to, you know, see out another minute or so and just uh, wrap up the victory. So Dan Gosling of Everton coming on in place of Fabian Dell. First cap for the Everton man. Who scored the winner against West Ham for his club at the weekend. 19-year-old uh, earns his first cap deep into stoppage time. Just need to keep it in the corner now, just see how it will play. Cleverly, Cork. He's looking for Carroll straight away. Paul never favoured him, unfortunately. Smalling. Oh, he's done well to keep the ball. Back to Richards. England tantalisingly close to a vital victory. A little push there from Gibbs on uh, Miguel Vitor. This will be the last chance now for uh, for Portugal. They're just going to sling it into the box and uh, hope they get a break. Everyone forward for Portugal. Everyone back for England. Carroll once again winning it in the air. Herrera will put it in again. That's shallow and it's picked off by Cleverly. Shirts flooding forward. I make it the three minutes are up. 
Gosling was up with him, but uh, cleverly lost the ball. It doesn't matter, it's all over. It's three precious points for Stuart Pearce's side, who closed the gap on leaders Greece to just three points. The goal made by Andy Carroll, who knocked it down for the man of the match, Danny Rose. Portugal huffed and puffed, but rarely created any opportunities. And the side coached by Oceano Cruz are really up against it now in Group 9. Massive victory for England as they head to Vilnius to take on Lithuania on Tuesday. What a superb win. It's finished at Wembley. England won. Portugal nil.